When you talk about the absolute superstars of the conservative movement right now, the fact that Ted Cruz is one of them, well, eesh. But that is how the podcaster from Texas was introduced at the big Turning Point USA festival of dad jeans awesomeness this weekend. Amid all the pyrotechnics and loud music, of course, Donald Trump's influence could be felt nearly everywhere at this conservative conference, despite a lot of recent talk about the ex-president starting to lose his grip on the Republican Party. You've probably seen some of these headlines. And I have to say, I do think there's some truth to that. Back in 2016, the thing that made Donald Trump truly unique in the Republican Party was that he was just an enormous jerk all the time. No one else was doing that. The base ate it up. So I'm looking at little Marco and I say, man, there's something happening with him. And he's like melting. How about Cruz? Is it Lion Ted? You're right, Lion Ted. He's a liar. I see uh, Rick Perry the other day. And he's so, you know, he's doing very poorly in the polls. He put glasses on so people will think he's smart. And it's, it just doesn't work. And I'm watching these guys like Jeb, low energy Jeb Bush. So low energy. Oh. You fall asleep looking at him. Now, politicians generally, uh, in the time that I've covered politics, not all of them, but most, have just tried not to be jerks, right? The goal was to uh, get as many people to vote for you as possible, to people to find you likable and electable. And so at first, I think people in professional Republican politics could not get their hands around the idea that this could be a successful method. But it worked for Donald Trump, obviously. And now it's basically become like the core rule of the movement, luxuriate in being a jerk and being antisocial, flagrantly so, being a troll. Troll conservatism is conservatism, more or less. And that was on full display at Turning Point USA's preposterous light show. I talked to a student recently at one of our woke college campuses who said she's required in every class to introduce herself and to give her pronouns. Well, I'm Ted Cruz, and my pronoun is kiss my ass. Have you watched these pro-abortion, pro-murder rallies? The people are just disgusting. Like, why is it that the women with the least likelihood of getting pregnant are the ones most worried about having abortions? <laughs> Nobody wants to impregnate you if you look like a thumb. Now, it's worth noting the congressman there talking about women's looks is under investigation by the Justice Department, the FBI, we believe, reportedly, for allegedly paying for sex with a minor. Now, perhaps the one Republican who's found success by moving a little bit away from the Trump method, or at least doing it with a certain defter touch, is Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. And look, his policies are terrible. He's done really dangerous stuff as the governor of Florida. But he also says things that a savvier politician might say. Rather than calling women who support abortion rights ugly, he stirs up, caters to resent with, with a somewhat lighter, more insidious touch. I will have math books sent to my Department of Education for review, these textbooks. And they will do things like woke math. And I'm thinking to myself, two plus two equals four. It's not two plus two, well, let's have a struggle session over that. How do you feel about it? No, no, no. There's a right answer here. Uh, and it's not about injecting ideology into concepts like math. So what we did at the Department of Education was we sent the books back. These textbook companies had no other choice but to take the woke out and send us back normal math books. And so we're winning. Of course, the question is whether the base now wants what Ron DeSantis is offering or what Donald Trump is. Civil rights lawyer Sherilyn Eiffel summed up uh, very well uh, this sort of desire uh, that you see on display with Matt Gates and others, that what Donald Trump offered was the freedom to be your worst self. And it turns out many Americans have been waiting for that opportunity. I've been thinking about that formulation. Although many in the pot party are now copying him, Trump is the founder of that particular style of conservative politics, at least in this era. But lately, the ex-president seems to be so caught up in his own grievances, he's lost a bit of his ability to successfully pander to his supporters' grievances. And we saw the result of that at the Turning Point USA conference, the Trump applause line that wasn't right after this.